Hey, hello again, Bob from Gill Skills here again with another micro scrapping video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, and today, without further ado, we're gonna keep in communicado by micro scrapping a cordless phone with a built-in answering machine. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that like button, throw in a comment for good measure, and if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. We've got micro scrapping videos, cooking videos, auto repair videos, home improvement videos, and a lot more. I'd love to see you around more often, okay? I'm talking to you. We've got a cordless phone here with a built-in answering system. We're gonna go ahead and micro scrap this today. Might as well go ahead and start by getting rid of the wire like we always do. We'll just simply remove the wire. We likely have some brass components and whatnot in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and snip the, the wire and also the brass from the plug itself. And this uh, is big enough where it might have a copper bearing motor in it or a transformer, as some people like to call it. We'll snip that as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set that over here for now. And then we've got the number two insulated wire. I'm gonna crunch that up so it is as small as humanly possible. It's gonna unravel, but I don't care. That's fine as long as it stays there. We've got the cordless phone part and we've got the digital answer machine part. I'm gonna wager that we actually have a mid-grade board in here, but we'll see. Haven't opened it up yet, sight unseen. I'm thinking mid-grade board. You guys let me know what you think. So first things first, we'll go ahead and take this off. So this piece is plastic. I'll start a plastic pile. We've got the battery on the inside here. And this is a nickel metal hydrate battery. There are some scrap yards that will take these. There are others that will not. I'll go ahead and set that aside. So we've got some screws here on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And remember, no metal left behind on gill skills. We'll start our pile. All right, so at this point, I would suspect that it's probably gonna pry open. I don't see any other spots that there could be screws. There might possibly be a screw under here. Let's check. Nope, no screw. There might be screws lingering underneath this piece here. Let me see if there is. Yeah, I can't get under there. All right, I'm gonna see if I can pry this open and break this. Oh, there we go. All right, well, just at first glance, guys, I don't know how well you can see this, but these seem to have gold contacts on them, which is actually a really good sign. That is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and discard all the plastic and junk first. Plastic, the buttons are all plastic. So I'm gonna start putting that stuff over here. These are the rubber keypads. Front face, there's no metal on it at all. And ultimately the buttons, which are apparently falling apart on me. So yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and continue. So it looks like this just comes right out. Oh wow, look at that board. Look at that board. Uh, peripheral board, mid-grade board. There's a lot of gold on that, so I don't know. You guys tell me. That's that's an interesting looking board for sure. Right. That's a cool looking board, that is for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. That display piece might have some precious metals in it as well. Not really 100% sure, but I will set that side just the same. And that board here, let's go ahead and take that off. This is a speaker. So I'll set that close to the other, other metals and I'll separate the wire. There we go. There's some more wire, just take that off. Look at that. There's even a crystal oscillator on this thing. Look at that thing right there. That is impressive. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and continue. All we got left in this piece here is the speaker and it looks like there's a little clip that holds it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, so there's the clip. And there's the speaker. Sorry about shaking so much. I've had a lot of coffee today. Lots of coffee. So this is the plastic husk of the cordless phone itself. So we are done with that. We'll go ahead and move on to the juicy bit. The juicy bit. 
which is the digital answering system. Yay! So if I flip this over here, I immediately see two screws. I'm gonna go ahead and take those screws out and see if I can open her up. There might be hidden screws in here. We will see. So this back piece, there is no metal on this whatsoever, so we can put this in a plastic pile. And this is basically what we're left with. Uh, there's a lot of screws on those boards and whatnot, so we'll go ahead and start taking those off and getting them separated. Is there another screw hanging on here somewhere? Get that tape off, we'll put that over with the other junk. I don't see any more screws. Okay, so there's some wire there. Let's go ahead and cut the wire. There we go. I'll just take that right off there. Interesting. I'm not really 100% certain what kind of board this is, but it's got a crystal oscillator on it, and I'm seeing gold bits on it. There's also a phone cord connector on here. I don't know. Would this be classified as a peripheral board? You guys let me know. Uh, there are more experienced scrappers out there than I, so you guys let me know what this classifies as. But I'll tell you, it's a decent looking board. There's a fuse on it too. Look at that. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Pretty much cleaned up here. Let me put that with the other board. And we got a couple more screws here on what I would perceive to be a low grade board. So let me go ahead and get that out. And then I think all that's left is the speaker. Okay, oh, interesting. I don't know if there's any mylar on there or what the deal is, but uh, that's an interesting looking board. I'm gonna wager to say it's a low, low grade board. Uh, interesting, just the same. All right, so it looks like all we got left here is the speaker. So let me go ahead and take that out and I'll just double check, make sure there's no hidden screws or anything. Cause as you know, there's no metal left behind on the Gill Skills channel. Okay. Speaker, a little bit of wire. Speaker. So it looks like the rest is all plastic. I'm not seeing any other screws. Let me go ahead and organize this, guys, and I'll show you the end tally. This is it, guys. This is the final tally for the cordless phone and built-in answering system. Let's go ahead and show you what we got. We got the nickel metal hydride battery, ladies and gentlemen, along with all the brackets and screws that came with it. We've got three speakers that came out of the unit. We've got the number two insulated wire with some finer wire and some junk wire. We've got the components that might possibly have some brass in it and the plug that definitely has some brass in it, which is totally awesome, along with a transformer, which you can also salvage. We've got the display piece there along with a low grade board. And then we've got what I think is two mid grade boards and this one might even be a peripheral board. Not really 100% sure on that, but it is one of those two. And then of course we've got all the plastic as you can see here. And that's it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked what you've seen, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.